In this video, we're going to look at the recent firmware update for the Wing console and how you can use it effectively in the studio. Hi, I'm Ben Booker, live in studio sound engineer. I've worked with acts such as PJ Harvey, Scissor Sisters and 5 Seconds of Summer. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the Wing for door control and how to effectively use it in the studio. So with this new update, we now have door control with up to 24 faders and various different options. Cubase, Nuendo, Logic X, Studio One and Ableton all work with this new door control update. The surface can be laid out in many different ways from custom controls only, single MCU, MCU plus extender and MCU plus two extenders. There is also the option for USB or DIN connection. Two protocols are supported for MCU or Huey. In this demonstration, we're going to use Logic and the MCU protocol. To load a preset for your chosen sequencer, select it from the preset list and press load. For this demonstration, we're going to use the MCU protocol over USB, and I'll show you various different ways in which you can set up the console. To use the wing as a control surface, first you need to plug the USB from the wing console into your computer. Then, in the control surface, you'll find a setup page. You'll now see the various different sections of the MCU and Mackie control surfaces. Drag them around into the order. You'll see the faders reshuffling, and you'll be able to put the faders in any order that you like. This is such a quick and easy way to organize the surface. There are two ways in which to change pan. The first is to select a channel, then use the custom controls to adjust pan level. The second way is to use the send on fader flip button. This allows the pan to be on the fader, down for a left pan and up for a right, with zero around the minus 10 mark. The jog wheel can be used to quickly move around in your project backwards and forwards in time. Depending on your choice of door, the arrows around the jog wheel function in different ways. In Logic, the up and down arrows navigate between different tracks. Custom controls can be accessed by pressing the view button. In the customs control window, there are four pages of options available. Door one to four. Each of these four areas give you eight buttons to use as you desire. These options can be fully customized to your workflow. There is a full list of door buttons and also door virtual pots which can be used for many, many functions. The two user buttons can be quickly used to switch between channels 1 to 24 and 25 upwards. User 1 being channels 1 to 24, user 2, 25 upwards. The two arrows below that can be used for individual channel selection. Presets are available for many different doors, including Cubase, Nuendo, Logic X, Studio One and Fruity Loops. This list will grow and continue to improve in the future. As ever, if there's any presets you would like to see in the console, please let us know in the comments below. The transport section is great for having remote controls at your fingertips. In this example, I've got record, stop, cycle and play. All the things that you need to quickly get around your project. Also, while your project is playing, there's a display in bars. Very handy just to see where you are quickly without having to glance up at the screen. Automation levels can now be recorded with the faders. This is the perfect way to dial your mix in. With this new firmware update comes a document that details how to set up the Wing console with your door of choice. A new feature in this firmware update is the tag rename option for Mu Groups and DCAs. Another new feature in this update is the alt source indication on channel LEDs. This lets you see which source you are using. And now onto some of my bonus tips. The Wing has a 48 channel USB sound card built in. This allows you to use it for digital summing. To use this, you could send up to 24 buses to the console and apply individual processing to each of those buses, such as compression or EQ. This allows you then to sum all the channels together to get a superior sonic sound, and it's a great feature. Please let us know any videos you'd like us to do in the future in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.